This is video 23 now uh, in our series, Topics in Quantum Mechanics. And again, a reminder, the playlist for all the videos is at the website, digital-university.org. Okay, uh, in this video, we want to begin our discussion concerning creation and annihilation operators. And we're going to be considering it in the context of the uh, one-dimensional harmonic oscillator. Now, just to remind ourselves, if we have a classical situation where we have a spring and a mass hook to it and it's oscillating back and forth along the x-axis, the total energy that's associated with the system is the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. K is the spring constant of the system. And this going back and forth, when we saw the equations of motion, we can consider it also as, as a type of circular motion, where it starts at a point, goes to here, comes back at the point, so forth, just like going around in a circle. And the angular velocity, considering it in that context, is equal to the square root of the spring constant divided by the mass. So we can rewrite the equation for the total energy is one half mv squared plus one half m omega squared x squared. Now, when we're considering particle going back and forth on the x axis, the Hamiltonian, that would be the equivalent of the total energy of the system, that's t squared over 2m, and now the potential energy term, that's one half m omega squared x squared. So now, with that in mind, here is the Hamiltonian. And now here we have two new operators that we're introducing. This is 1 over the square root of 2m omega h bar. That really is not the business part of the operator. Here we have x, that's the position, times the mass, times the equivalent of the angular velocity, plus i times the momentum. And then the complex conjugate of a, a dagger, is the same thing, except this becomes a minus sign. Remember now in quantum mechanics, and remember also we're just restricting our attention to the x-axis, the momentum is minus i h bar, taking the partial of something with respect to x. And also, I think this is in video 18 or 19, where we derive this commutation relation between momentum and position is equal to minus i h bar. Now, what we want to do, before we consider the creation and annihilation properties of a, a dagger, we want to derive equations for these relations, a dagger a, a a dagger, commutator of a and a dagger, the commutator of the Hamiltonian with a, and the commutator of the Hamiltonian with a dagger. So let's consider this first. We have a dagger from our definition one over the square root of two m omega h bar. And here we have x m omega minus i t. And for A, just the complex conjugate, so we have X M Omega plus I times P. So now we want to find a relation or an expression for a dagger A. So we have this times this. So B 
here we're going to have 1 over 2m omega h bar. And then let's just say times x m omega minus ip and then x m omega plus ip. So this will give us when we multiply this times this, that's x squared m squared omega squared and then here we have this times this so we have p squared i squared is negative 1 times negative 1 that makes that plus p squared now for the cross terms here we have this times this so we have i m omega with a minus sign here minus i m omega and that is times p x then from the other cross term we have this times this i m omega that's a positive sign, and we have x p, so this will be minus x p. So here is what we get. Now, p x minus x p, that's the same thing as the commutator. Px, and we know what that equals. That is equal to minus i h bar. So let's see what kind of expression we get from this. This equals one over two m omega h bar. And we have x squared, m squared, omega squared, plus p squared minus i m omega and this quantity right here is minus i h times minus i bar. So let's see. This is i squared. That's negative 1. This times this is positive. We have i squared is negative 1. So that's going to give us a minus sign here once we take out the i factors. So minus m omega h bar. Clean this up then. So we have this. Now let's go ahead and take the 2m inside of here. So we have 2m over 2m divided by 2m we can take this away so this is equal to 1 over omega h bar and we have times this now here these are going to cancel so this will give us just m and here and over here these M's are going to cancel. So these go away. So we have this expression. 
So let's compare this with our Hamiltonian. The Hamiltonian was p squared over 2m plus a potential energy term, and that was 1 half m omega squared x squared. That's what this is. m omega squared x squared over 2, and we also have this term. So, for a data times a, that is equal to 1 over omega h bar, and then we have times, this is the Hamiltonian, minus h omega divided by 2. So that's our expression then for a Geiger times a. Now, if we go the other way around and have a times a Geiger, go through the same process, and what we get is this with a plus sign here. So this is equal to 1 over omega h bar, let's make some room, times the Hamiltonian plus h omega over 2. So right now, we have found these two expressions. So now come back, join us in the next video, and we'll see if we can find expressions for these two quantities. So come back, join us in the next video, and we'll continue on with our discussion.